A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you are once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up, and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows, and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord.
my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. Far from you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything, for they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory 
When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. We welcome everyone who joins us today in the pews and those who join us by way of the electronic media with our much improved camera system here and to make available all that we do here at St. Anne's to a larger audience over time because we know that it will take more time to find a vaccine for this coronavirus and many are staying away out of prudence for their health and security and so we're delighted that you can join us by spiritual communion those of you who are tuning in at this time. Ask yourself whether or not you've ever had an experience when it was just too hard and you gave up. You've been practicing it, you've been trying hard at it, and it just didn't work, and you just decided to give up. Do you remember trying to do algebra? I remember. It was very difficult. I tried. I went to my dad, who was very good with numbers. He didn't help me much. He just solved the problem for me, but didn't show me how to do it. Then there was chemistry. I don't know how one molar of chemical solution plus one molar of chemical solution can yield how many molars, friends? One molar. One plus one equals two. Couldn't figure that one out. Calculus was impossible. I tried, I really tried at science. I didn't do very well in science. Maybe that's why I became a priest. Have you ever had those re experiences? And then as we grow older, relationships. You try to develop a relationship with a friend or someone that you want a, to be a friend. And then things change, and, but you keep trying and it's not working. You give up, you walk away. Families like that too, cousins and in-laws, it's hard to stay in touch. It's hard to develop those relationships and you give the best you can and then over time you just say, uh, it's not worth it and you walk away. Now that's true for a lot of us. We have these experiences in life where we have really tried our best and it's not working out. It's just too hard. So we walk away. We give up on it, try to forget it. Now that happens in our spiritual lives as well. We have really tried to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. Listen to the commandment that Jesus gives in Matthew's gospel today. I've really tried, Lord, but it's not working. And I keep falling back into sin, and I keep saying how unworthy I am, and you know what? It's too hard. And people walk away from God, because it's too hard, they say. Then the second commandment, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. It's hard enough to love myself, let alone my neighbor, properly. Too hard. Walk away from it. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a tough commandment 
This is the one that Jesus says, the whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Of all the hundreds of commandments in the Old Testament, these are the two that Jesus is referring to as he distills all the Mosaic law and all the laws of Deuteronomy into two. Love of God, love of neighbor, and self. A triune of love. Hard to do. See, I think the problem is that we put all the emphasis on ourselves. We look at our Christianity and our religion often as a kind of spiritual Olympics. If I simply work hard enough at this, I'm going to go for the gold, Lord. I'm going to do it all for you. And we fall short of that, we get disappointed. Then we settle for the silver. Didn't quite get that one. We settle for the bronze, third place. And then forget it. We walk away. It's too hard. But that's the problem. It's a heresy called Pelagianism. Pelagius actually thought you could justify your way into heaven through good works. In fact, that was something of the Old Testament as well. Jesus says it's not by works. You've got to have faith and works. But faith in me, your works are nothing without faith in me. See, that's the key here. If I can say to myself, no, this program that I'm on is not a self-improvement program. It's a program about him and his grace and his love and his mercy for me and to trust that he is going to do this with me makes a big difference than my trying to have to prove to him, look at me, Lord. Because a lot of us think that on the day of judgment that we can present our report card to our Savior and say, see, I did pretty well here and I did really well there and I was really good about that. He's not looking at a report card about us that way. Because if that's the way it is, he might well say, well, am I part of that report card? Did you ever trust me to do any of that work for you? Did you even involve me or want me in your life? Why would you want to be in my life if you never wanted me in your life? Can you see the relationship that's gone askew there? He wants to be in your life. So he's made it seemingly impossible to achieve this commandment. See, he's saying this in the context of an instruction to a lawyer, a scholar of the law, who wants to know it black or white, yes or no, this or that. So the context is very important because Jesus is testing the scholar of the law, the lawyer, to say, can you do this? And of course, the lawyer will say, sure, I can do it. I'm gifted. I've got the resources. And our Lord is saying, in a very real, real way, you can't. You can't love me with all your heart. You cannot love me with all your soul. You cannot love me with all your mind. I mean, our Lord is brilliant here. He's setting up a straw man argument because he wants to impress on his people that God loves you more. Stop your sacrifices to me because they're not going to work anymore. That's why I am going to be the perfect act of sacrifice for you when you couldn't do it for me. In fact, it's reversed. I, the Lord your God, will love you with all my heart. I will love you with all my soul. I will love you with all my mind. That's my commandment to myself, and you should remember that. Remember that the commandment is really my gift to you. As much as you do your part in your gift to me. But remember, that's why we come to Mass in so many ways, is to remember the love, the mercy, the compassion of God for us. Not sitting in the pews and saying, okay, let's make a deal, Lord. I came to Mass today. I've been really good. Can you give me A for effort? Sure. 
that's nice, but that misses the point. This is not a report card kind of thing. Now we're coming to praise and give thanks to him for the tremendous in the history of mankind. That's amazing that God so loved the world that he sent his only son to die as a perfect act of sacrifice to atone for our sins and the sins of all religion, all philosophies, every person, past, present, future, living, dead, regardless of race or religion or time or place. Let's give him A for effort. Let's give him the gold. Let's give him our hearts united with his divine heart before the Father. You see, in the Mass, we're taking our part in his sacrifice. We're coming to offer our own, but we're really uniting it with his. And isn't that the case, that every time we unite our problems with his, our anxiety, our doubts, our fears, our sins, we give it to him, we place it on his shoulders, and what does he do? He crucifies it. Now, a lot of us don't really believe that. A lot of us walk around holding on to our sins of the past and all of our problems and saying, the Lord doesn't hear me because I tried to pray for this and it didn't work. And so, as I said before, when things get too hard and I tried the best I can, I walk away. He says, don't walk away from me. Don't turn your back on me. I never turned my back on you. I never gave up on you. Oh, it was hard for me to die on that cross for you. And it's hard for me even now in my resurrected body when I look at the wounds of those sores of my hands and my side to remember what it was like 2,020 years ago when they pinned me on two pieces of wood. I remember all of that. It was hard, but I never gave up on you. And I will never give up on you. I will never turn my back on you. I will never say it's too hard to find you. So don't do that to me. Don't insult me. See, this is a very real relationship, friends. It's a very loving thing. If you want to fall in love with God through Jesus, it's a very beautiful experience of a friendship. In fact, he says to his apostles just that, I call you friends. You are now my friends, he says. No other God has ever done that in the history of mankind. No God has ever said to his tribe or the nation, hey, we're friends. No, I'm God and I'm over you and I'm superior and you're subordinate. Jesus doesn't say that. We are friends. If you do what I command you, love one another as I have loved you. See, there you say, I can't do that, Lord. I can't love you as you love me. Fine. Then you come as far as you can, and I, he says, will come the rest of the way. Because that's what friends do. Do what you can. Don't worry that it's not perfect. Don't worry that it's not complete. Don't worry about impressing me. Stop doing that to yourself. As one friend likes to say to me all the time, take yourself off the cross. Someone else needs the wood. Let him do the work with you, for you. Trust that. Know the Mass is that means by which his body and blood is given to you as a gift to sustain you and to give you the strength for just another day of bearing your cross out of love for him who bore his cross out of immense love for us all. Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begot and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us then and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbled by the depth of God's love for us, let us present our petitions to our loving Savior in confidence of faith. That Pope Francis, Archbishop Gregory, and all who serve the Church may imitate the humility of Christ in their proclamation of his gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our compassionate care and unconditional support of the poor, the needy, the abused, and the addicted may make us worthy of their prayers before God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners who are ill or recovering, especially those afflicted by the coronavirus, for all who are imprisoned, abused, or suffering in any way, that they may be delivered from every evil we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful who have died may dwell forever in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will hear the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of compassion, Lord of all that is good, you love us without limit. You accept us as your own without condition. In the spirit of joyful humility, may we too learn to love you as you have loved us and to love each other in your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated now for a few announcements. St. Anne's Church relies solely on your contributions to maintain our parish ministries and our live stream masses. Please be as generous as you can by making an offering on our website through Faith Direct or the other means available in our parish envelope system. You can visit stannedc.org slash give at this time. Please take home a copy always of the bulletin if you're here with us. Visit our website. October is the month of the rosary. so. Please continue to recite the rosary with us. We do it here every daily. The Boy Scouts are sponsoring a fall food drive Saturday, November the 7th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at St. Anne's. You can bring your dried goods and foodstuffs. Bags are available for you to find out what we need to feed the poor in the area. We, you can drive up on Yuma Street here and park your truck there and we will unload for you all your bags. The Scouts will do that for you so you don't have to touch anything. They'll be wearing gloves and masks and we thank the Scouts for this charity. God bless you all as we continue our Mass together. And as we go live stream more seriously, I just ask that you make every effort to kind of come on time. 
so that we can avoid as much distraction of sound in the room for the sake of our viewers. Thank you for your charity and your patience. Our hymn during the preparation of the gifts is As a Fire is Meant for Burning. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks. 
thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we now acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
especially Carol Towey, and all who've died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anne, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the joyful hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I bow before your throne. I bear the deepest part of me to you and you alone. I keep no secrets, for there is no thought you have not known. I bring my best and all the rest to you and lay them down. With all my heart, I want to love you, Lord, and live my life each day to know you more. All that is in me is yours completely. I'll serve you only with all my heart. You faithful according to your plan. So help me, Lord, to seek your face before I seek your hand. And trust you know what's best for me when I don't understand. Then follow in obedience in every circumstance. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are grateful to Pope Francis, who has elected the Archbishop of Washington, Archbishop Wilton Gregory, to be a cardinal. Cardinal-elect Gregory will then be created a cardinal in the consistory of November 28th in Rome. Our prayers go with him as the Church of Washington rejoices and as a nation, the first African-American cardinal. Our prayers go with him as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. St. Gregory, pray for us. St. Anne, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is There's a Wideness in God's Mercy. mercy like the wideness of the sea there is kindness in his justice which is more than liberty there is welcome for the sinner and more blessings for the good there is mercy with the Savior there is healing in his blood. For the love of God is broader than the measure of our mind, and the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed there is joy for all the members now at one with christ 